You know, gone are the days of the corner lemonade stands or kids mowing lawns for some extra change. Teenagers these days proving to be tycoons in their own right, coming up with some pretty unique ways to fill up the old piggy bank and then some. Joining me now, Steve Mariotti, president and founder of the National Foundation for Teaching Entrepreneurship. He is the author of Entrepreneurship, How to Start and Operate a Small Business. And joining me here in the studio, two whiz kids, 16-year-old Alisa Ashur, uh, who sells hair care accessories, and 18-year-old Omar Farouk, founder of Bluestream, a technology solutions company, a nonprofit uh, group also by the name of the Action Network. Good to see you both. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to get to you in a second, but Steve, uh, let's go to the adults first. <laughs> when I was a kid, it was a newspaper route and, you know, the lemonade stand and stuff. Has technology and the Internet really allowed today's kids to accomplish so much more? Absolutely, Greg. Um, you know, I founded Nifty in 1987, and our mission is to teach children from low-income com communities how to start small businesses. And with our partners, Goldman Sachs, CA, and the New York City Council, we've become a global movement. And the big change over the last three or four years has been how many of our students, 32,000 a year, go through our programs, how many of them integrate technology into their programs. And I would say it's almost 70 to 80 percent. Yeah, it's truly amazing. In fact, a decade ago, you know, you helped launch 200 uh, kid businesses. Uh, today, it's 2,000. Job well done, Steve. Let me Thank turn you. to a couple of these terrific kids. Uh, Elisa, uh, your business is called, and I went to your website, and it's very cool. I have two daughters, and I'm going to get them some stuff. They're going to want this. Uh, tell us about your business. Um, my business ex is called Accessorize, and we're geared towards selling hair clips towards young women and teenagers. And um, we give part of our profits to Locks of Love, which is the cancer foundation that makes the wigs for cancer patients. So this way, they're able to buy products from my business, and they also give back to something, which is good. Yeah, now, here on the table, I, uh, can we get a camera shot of this? I mean, here you have headbands right here, hair clips of all kinds, barrettes, and so forth. I mean, they're, they're really nice. Did, did you design these? How do you get these products? Um, I actually don't design them. I go to the wholesale district and I'm able to buy a whole bunch at one time for a certain amount of price, uh, pricing and then yeah. I can make my money back by doubling the pricing. Uh, you've done a great job. All right, let me turn to Omar Farouk. Omar, Omar tell me about Bluestream. Bluestream helps nonprofit organizations with web development work as well as uh, other training necessary things that they need. Yeah. And you also have a nonprofit uh, group? Yes. Uh, I am the chair at the Action Network, which is essentially a volunteer organization here in the city to encourage young people to volunteer um, with a number of different organizations, including senior homes here in the city. And you've been pretty successful. I mean, is it true that you pay your own rent, live on your own? Yes, I uh, live on my own. Wow. I mean, that is truly amazing. How'd you come up with the idea? Um, with a the Action Network? Yes. Um, I have a couple of networked with a couple of different people here in the city, and um, we're really fascinated about how do we get young people to volunteer more, so that as they grow up in life, th they continue to do it, and find a couple of different passionate board members to come on board and uh, help us with the action network. All right, Omar Farouk, Elisa Shore, Steve Mariani, congratulations to all of you. Uh, it beats the heck out of my lemonade stand. All right, uh, on a serious note, let's go back to that construction site. Take a look at that.